In this video, we'll be looking at a problem that deals with the distance traveled by an object attached to a spring. Our problem is, suppose an object is attached to a spring and is started in motion so that the speed at time t is given by the absolute value of 5 times the cosine t. Our question is, how far did the object travel from t equals 0 to t equal 2 pi. Now recall that um, from previous lessons, we know that the derivative of our distance function is our velocity function. So from that, we know that our distance function will be the integral of our velocity function. So we need to evaluate the distance s of t will be the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the absolute value of 5 times the cosine of t dt. Now since this is an absolute value function, we need to uh, look at the sketch of this curve. So the sketch of 5 cosine t, we're going to have a max of 5 and a min of negative 5, and our cosine curve looks something like this. And we know that it completes one period in 2 pi, which is the interval that we're looking at. So uh, for our problem, what we're going to need to do is subtract this area that's down below the x-axis. Okay. Now we know that it crosses the x-axis at pi over 2, and then again at 3 pi over 2. So our integral is going to need to be broken up into three pieces. Our first piece is going to go from 0 to pi over 2. And then the section from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2, since that's below the x-axis, we're going to have to subtract that integral. And then we'll add the rest of it, which goes from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. Let me put that down on this next line here. All right, so now just um, we know that the integral of cosine is sine. So this first part here is, I'm going to go ahead and factor out this 5 that's in all three parts. So I'll put that on in front. So the sine then of pi over 2 subtract the sine of 0, which is my lower limit of integration. So this part right here is my first integral. And then I need to subtract, and I pulled my 5 out already, so I have the sine of 3 pi over 2. Minus the sine of pi over 2. So 
So this is my second integral. And then this last part here, I pulled my 5 out in front. So I have the sine of 2 pi subtract the sine of 3 pi over 2. So let's do this. We have 5 times. Now the sine of pi over 2 is 1. The sine of 0 is 0. Minus the sine of 3 pi over 2 is a negative 1. And then minus again, I'm going to distribute that in here. So that'll be plus, and then the sine of pi over 2 is 1. And plus the sine of 2 pi is 0. And then minus, and then the sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. If we do the math here, we get 5 times 4, which is 20.